Why do you think that self-doubt still lives in who you are? Because, well, um, it's a really big question, and mm -hmm. and uh, I still talk about it twice a week with my shrink. Well done, but, you. <laughs> you know, so um, let's see. I can share a little bit with you. You know, asking, like, why is, like, a, that's a dangerous road to go down. Like, why do you think, why this, why that? But ultimately, I'm a person, and I think what I fear most is shame, is feeling shame. Mm. And so while I do want to make things, and while I do want to put them out there, and right. while I do hope for, you know, applause, right. um, I think... I think what I fear the most is feeling ashamed or like that I it, that I won't be liked or I won't be loved or I won't be applauded. And I, you know, I heard this many, many years ago when I was really young that I confused, you know, like 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 when I was younger and I I gave like of my personality when I performed in front of my grandmother, you know, it was met with so much approval. Right. That I confused that with love, right. like the idea of being praised yeah. with love. So. I don't know if that's really true. I, it, it has some logic to it. It has a lot of logic. Actually. A lot of logic. Yeah. And, and, I, and again, shame is what I fear most. So like, I'm just worried that like, the people I look up to will say, like, it's not good. Huh. And that's where the insecurity comes from. Which is interesting because I don't think that, in my opinion, knowing you, even if a collection, let's use just your work, not your personal life. Right. Just your work. If a collection is not successful or somebody's cup of tea or not the you know on the cover of every everything that doesn't mean it's a failure of course it doesn't but i want a relationship with the audience and so if i get pleasure and they get pleasure from what i've done then it's like a success but if it's only me who likes it in the end it's not enough understood you know so it is that kind of thing where like the audience meets you halfway and and again it's not the whole audience right there are a handful of people in the world of fashion that i respect and admire and if they like what i've done then i feel truly satisfied i understand that it's a parental way thing in a way yeah you know like for most of us being an adopted kid i can say it like i'm always i'm always always seeking outside praise because not that I didn't have it, but when you're given away at birth and, and you know, we're going deep here, yes. but you think that you're not worthy or you're not, but, you know, all that stuff. But these things are, I mean, you're at, you asked a very deep question yeah. because, you know, I, I'm, I, I struggle a little bit, not struggle, but I, I guess I, I vacillate between the two things of where, you know, there are moments where I truly feel good and I don't feel feel there's a problem or I'm insecure. And then there are many other times where I get caught in what will they think? And it's not only clothes, it's not only fashion. It's like it's like we're building this house and we're gonna be decorating and designing this house. And it's most important that we're happy with it, but I do want other people to like it. I want the people who come over to like it. And right. eventually if it's photographed, I want people you know, the design world to be like, wow, look what they did. Right. You know, like, that's who I am. I'm a, a performer. And so I always am looking for that, you know, razzle dazzle -um. I mean, it's showtime, you know, like yep. there's, that's part of me. And I, I, I'm good with that. Is that why you live your life so publicly on social media? Because like you share your looks, you do your thing. Well, th so that's, it's part of you it. You shared like, your facelift? Yeah. Well, well, I've learned a while back because of my drug addiction and alcohol problems and I learned with my tra hair transplants that like you can't hurt me if I tell my truth before you do. It's Amen. like that scene from 8 Mile, yeah. you know, with Eminem and it's like that mic drop moment where it's like you can't say nothing cuz I've already said it. And I love that. I love that mic drop moment of like you got nothing on me. I'm, you know, if I'm as sick as my secrets, I don't have any secrets. You know, Rue talks about like in it being a mystery. It's like, do you think maybe you shouldn't talk so publicly about everything? And I said the same thing to him. You know what, Mark? I said, "Rue, if I talk about everything myself, nobody can dangle anything. There's no skeletons in my closet. Yeah. They're all out partying yeah. with me. Yeah. So I agree. And when you when you went public with having a facelift, which, by the way, I'm going to do inevitably. <laughs> so I love the fact that you're removing the taboo. It's reclaiming.